In this video, we are going to have a look at how to install Microsoft 365 applications on a Windows 11 machine using Intune. So these are the applications like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook that we use on a day-to-day -day basis. So to set the scene, I have a Windows 11 machine that is Entra ID joined and it is also enrolled into Intune. So before we create the policies or deploy the applications, let me just verify that I don't have any Word application on this machine. So no Word, none of the M365 application is on the machine. So the only one that I have is Edge and Google Chrome, which has been pushed down by using Intune and which has been covered in a previous video of mine. So let's go back to the Intune portal. So we go into intune.microsoft.com. In order to install the application, we click on apps on the left hand side. And since it is a Windows application, let's select the platform as Windows. So it will load a list of all the applications that you have set up to be deployed onto your Windows 11 machine. So the only one that I have currently is Google Chrome. So let's click on add. And to select the app type, let's drop down the menu on the right hand side. So over here, you have an option that says Microsoft 365 apps, Windows 10 and later. So select that one. And it says add the Microsoft 365 apps to install your choice of the apps on managed devices running Windows 10 or later. Users must have an account in Entra ID and they should have a license to use this application. So those are the prereqs. So let's select yes to that and select. Now, most of the details are pre-configured because it's a Microsoft 365 app, uh, which is standard and which comes from Microsoft. They know all the information regarding the particular product. So the, so the application name is Microsoft 365 apps for Windows 10 and later. I mean, these are just explanatory for an administrator. The users are not going to see these, but let's stick to these names that we have. Uh, publisher is Microsoft. Category, it is a productivity app. Yes, of course. Uh, do you want to show this as a featured app in the company portal? No, we are just trying to install it on all Windows 11 machines over here. We have the other informations which are optional, also pre-filled by Microsoft. We also have a logo for it. So let's click on next. Now here, we have a couple of options that we can check. So configuration settings format, we are using the configuration designer for that. Now you can select the applications that you need as part of this particular install. By default, all the apps are installed. Um, we are excluding Cypher for Business because that has been replaced by Teams. But if you do have a majority of the user population just using say Word, Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook, you can select just those and deploy it in that particular fashion. Uh, in my case, I don't need access or publisher, but if you want, you can keep it uh, for the time being because you're licensed for it anyway. But for me, I'm just taking them off uh, just to reduce the footprint and just to make it faster for the deployment to complete because it is a test machine that we are trying out here. So let's select those six applications. If you have licenses for other applications like Project and Visio and you want to deploy those, you can select them over here. And as explained in the previous um, initial welcome wizard that we had you need to have the user licenses for these applications so if you do have it you can select it over here if not we'll just you know leave it as it is now the architecture for the application is 64-bit yes of course i mean these days you know if not all the applications that we have are 64-bit uh, including the machines so we stick with 64-bit default file format let's just select open document format for that update channel uh, we will stick with maybe semi-annual enterprise channel. Uh, so that's updates every six months. Now remove other versions. I mean, if you do have previous versions of Microsoft 365 applications, you can select. It doesn't make any difference whether I select yes or no. So let's just stick with yes. Version to install is the latest version. Uh, specific version is, again, the latest version. But if you have a specific version that you have in mind, you can select specific and you can pick uh, the build number for that particular application but let's just stick with latest. Now use shared computer activation. This is only coming into play if you have machines that are being shared by multiple users and you want to use that option over here. But in our case, uh, we have one machine for one user, so we select no for that. Accept this Microsoft software license terms on behalf of the users during the install. We click yes so that we don't have another touch point for the users. Install background service for Microsoft search in Bing. Um, I'm not using Bing at all, so I could say no to that. You can say yes. Uh, it doesn't make much of a difference to the installation. Now, languages. Microsoft by default installs the Microsoft 365 applications based on the language that you have on the Windows 
11 machine. So if Windows 11 is installed in English, it will automatically install the 365 apps in English. Uh, if it is in a different language, then it goes for that. But if you want more languages to be loaded, you can select the languages over here. So these are additional languages that you want to have. Say, for example, if you want to have French as well, in addition to English, if your machine is installed um, using a Windows 11 English edition. I don't want any additional languages, so I'll unselect those. But if you do want, you can check the languages that you want and then click Next. Over here, we are trying to install the application to all the devices. So we have three options. We can have a group and we can have a group being pre-made and then you can have the members correctly assigned if you are trying to control the deployment in the first place or you can say all users or all devices. So in my case, I'm sticking with all the devices and click next. Here we get a summary of all the things that we have selected. So Microsoft 365 apps. These are the selections that we have made. Excel, OneNote, Outlook, PowerPoint, Teams and Word we are trying. 64-bit semi-annual enterprise channel. We are removing any older versions from the machine and we are going with the latest version and, and, and the rest of the options that we did see through. Now we are going with the required option and we are targeting all the devices that we have in our enterprise. And let's click on create. Now the application gets created in a couple of seconds. As it says on the top left hand side, sorry, top right hand side, application has been created. But we need to wait uh, for some time for the application to be pushed down to the machine. Now, in order to make the deployment faster, because we are testing it out, we could synchronize the settings from the Intune portal and from the end device. So in order to sync the settings from the Intune portal, we click on devices on the left hand menu, wait for the device list to load, go into Windows because we are targeting Windows machines and find the device that we are trying to test it on. There it is. So click on the device. Once the properties of the machine is loaded, click on the sync button that you have on the top menu. Click on sync. You get a pop up saying that Intune will attempt to check in with this device. And if the check in is successful, it will start syncing the current policies and actions to this particular device. And would you like to continue? Click on yes. So this is forcing the sync from the Intune portal. Similarly, we can do the same from the end device. So for that, we go into the end device. We click on settings from the picker and we click on accounts on the left hand side and click on access or work, access work or school in from the middle pane and expand the enter ID option. Click on the info button that we have and under device sync status, we click the sync button. So this is now triggering a sync from the end device back into the Intune platform. So this is polling from both the endpoints. You can force it from the Intune portal. You can also trigger the sync from the end device. Once the sync is complete, let's come back and see as to whether we have the apps installed. All right, let's go back to the portal and see where we are with the installation. So let's go into apps, let's pick Windows, and let's find Microsoft 365 apps from the list. Click on that. And let's go into, okay, so from the properties itself, it says one installation is successful. So over here it says one and it's blue. So if you go into the device install status, you can see that it, it says on cloudific-pc, which is my machine, the status is installed, which is good. And if you go into the user installation status, you also have the user who has um, the Microsoft 365 apps, which is Joey Tribbiani. So the ins under installations, it says number one. So why do we have device and user install status? So this is because if the user has successfully installed the same application on a different device or on a mobile device, the installation number goes up. And over here in the device install status, it gives you a list of all the devices that has this particular application. So in the case of Microsoft 365, you can have the application installed on up to five devices by a single user license. So that's why you have both a device and a user status to make it easier for you to understand where things have been installed. All right, so let's go back into the machine to see what has happened. So the thing has been successful. Let's close off that. Um, and let's close the task manager. And let's go into the start menu to see whether we have, oh, there it is. We have Word, PowerPoint, OneNote, Outlook, all installed, and it's all looking good. So if this video has been informative, do check out my other videos in the channel where I upload videos pretty much on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Azure, Intune, uh, Windows, PowerShell, and general IT stuff. Thank you.